Ah, <sighs> we have a problem. You see, right behind me in English Choice is a lot of tackle inside. I'm gonna try my best not to faint because whew, nothing gets me more excited than tackle. Also, by the way, hi, my name is Ryan. I am from the Fishery Inn channel. And today I'm taking you guys along with me as I build the best winter tackle box. Oh, this is like my third home or something. Right now is the open house in Martinsville. So there's people all around, boats for display, tackle for sale, you know. So usually I like to fish a lot of ponds. I'm a big bank angler, so we're gonna try and make this affordable for all of y'all as well. If you know, if you're like a broke college student like me. In general, I'm looking for a box that has a lot of space. I think this will be perfect because if we open it up, it is the Plano Umbrella Rig Stowaway. But it's got these dividers, which will come in handy later on. But here we are. That is $13. Let's keep moving. A little bit about myself is that I'm currently in college. I think the best part about paying my tuition is that I get access a private lake on my campus. If y'all are from my channel, by the way, let me know down in the comments so I know who of y'all are the, you know, the real ones. Oh, look. We got some pros over here. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Terry. Hey, man. What would you recommend for my winter tackle box? Well, what kind of lure? In there, dude. I don't, and, and I think I got the wrong type of tackle box yeah. too. This is for umbrella rigs, but we're gonna make it work. We can't throw umbrella rigs. So, you know, I like other spins, vibrating jigs, regular jigs. I'm gonna tell you something. No yeah. matter what you're looking for, you got it. Hey, my choice. These suckers have got everything down here, dude. Okay, what's, what's that in your hand? The pulse fish underspin. Pulse spin. PJ. Yeah. All right, I haven't ever used this. What's the biggest fish you've caught on this? Yeah, probably six pounds. Six. That's my PV. All right, I'm throwing that in the box. <laughs> you got to add some swim bait heads to it. So okay. here's the deal, wintertime fishing, you're fishing deep a lot of times, especially a lot of clear water lakes around here. It's hard to find a half ounce swim bait head that's got a little light wire gamma got some hook Are you it, done? And that's the deal right there. So hmm. that is the deal, you gotta have some of them. It's a versatile bait, you can do your Demiki rigging technique with it or you can throw a little 2.8 Kitek out there and fish it 30, 40 feet deep. Hey, thank you guys. Hey, hey, man. Our pleasure. Yeah. Nice. Hey, man. Cool, okay, so we got some pro advice. We better now catch some fish. Now that we have jig heads, of course, we need our trailers. Ooh, look at this. Kai tech section with every single color. See, this is the part where I told you I'm a faint. I know the lake that I usually fish at college, it has a lot of gizzard chat. Bluegill flash. Hey, we got bluegill in the lake as well. Rolling with it. Hey, Field, what you got for me? Um, I think this one's probably my favorite. Okay, dark sleeper mega bass. I like it. We're gonna throw that in the box. So currently we have these two jig heads, two swim baits, and a dark sleeper. Oh, we gotta find some jerk baits. Jerk baits. Ah, mega bass. Okay, I need some jerk baits. So let's go with the junior size, and I believe this is suspending. And let's go with a mega bass vision 110, the full size one. I like me some allegly boned, if I pronounced it right. So we've got the basics, I think. We have our jig heads, swim baits, two mega bass jerk baits. Oh and a dark sleeper. Hmm, I'm feeling something metal, you know? Just straight up metal, no plastic. What you got here? A bladed bait. A bladed bait. All right, Field is always hooking us up with the juice. Let's toss it in. Now, one of my all time favorite and confident baits is the drop shot. So we're just gonna come over here and look at that. Once again, a massive selection of these robo worms. Let me put y'all on color. This, nobody really talks about this because they don't want you catching all the fish out of their honey holes. Morning Dawn is a color you throw in the middle of winter when nothing else is working. Hmm, I'm feeling jiggy. We got a juice jig, juice casting jig. We got a heavy head on there. Perfect for just me getting those long casts out because if I use a lure that's too light, I'd be backlashing. You already know we want those cranks. Strike King Chick Magnet. Well, by am in the red color, cause you know, pre-spawn is already starting, so we gotta be prepped. Oh, a two-tap tungsten. <laughs> One of my buddies always throws these, always outfishes me, so now it's my turn. Let's also just get a shad colored one as well. Whenever I get a duplicate, it's probably just because I'm gonna get one snagged. Berkeley Fritz side, yes please. Okay, we're looking pretty good right now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 baits. Trust me guys, by the end of this month, the trees would have probably claimed half of these. Finishing off with a kicker, a mega bass spinner bait. We're gonna try and make this affordable for all of y'all. Spinner baits is something I really wanna work on getting better this year, so boom, perfect. All right, let's go check out. Sitting on this 2023 beautiful Red Ranger, just casually a $80,000 boat. Obviously it's not mine, but I don't know, maybe, maybe one day we'll have one. Look at this whole pile of baits. It's lovely. Let's see if we can make this work. Once again, I probably didn't grab the best tackle box for this, but it's big, long, and it's got plenty of space. Starting off with our Mega Best Vision 110 Junior. Hello, buddy. I know you were manufactured in Japan, but this is gonna be your new home. Breaking out the Vision 110 normal size one. This is a $25 jerk bait. Some of you guys are like, oh, that's too much money for me to just go and catch a tree, but there's just something about these baits that get bit. The way I like to work these jerk baits is a just quick twitch twitch with my rod, especially with the slack line. I just pause it, especially when it's during the winter time, it's gonna be cold. So there's no point in going boom, 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 boom. That's probably better for the springtime. But then again, who am I? You know, I'm just a bank angler. You guys could probably fish these jerk baits better than me. Next up is the vault blade bait. This thing comes in some fancy packaging. With these blade baits, the way I like to work them is with the yo-yo action. So I cast it out, I reel in the slack, and I lift my rod and then I reel down the slack again and I repeat, so it's like a yo-yo. Another way is just straight up burning it in. Whatever the fish are preferring, I will do it. Okay, let's break out these jig heads that the pros recommended. These feel solid, just quality, quality products. The best thing about English Choice is I know that all of the tackle they carry, it's all gonna perform. It's not some budget option that, you know, I'm gonna have to worry about, oh, will it run straight? Will the hook break? I'm gonna zoom past all these crankbaits. Because it is still the winter and the fish are a little sluggish, one advantage we do have against bass is their natural feeding instincts. And that's where these lipless cranks can come and trigger a reaction strike. Crankbaits, always gotta have them. Okay, I did a little bit of cheating and I grabbed another spinnerbait off camera. I had my boy Roberto who fishes high school tournaments. He was like, yo, Ryan, this color, it's money. We got two different colors, one for clear water and then another for murkier situations. During the winter time, I just like to cast out and slow roll it. It seems like we have a, what is that, an ATV? Like it's, a, it's, it's a motorcycle inside the warehouse. That is wild. <laughs> Next up, we take our bottom baits. These are our Mega Bass Stark Sleepers or our structure jigs. So if we wanna catch one of these winter big mamas, this is perfect. Lastly, we have the trailers. And uh, I, I would say that us bass fishermen, plastics are our candy. Shout out to all the boys helping me out. You know, Field is just helping me take care of trash. I put it down and then Field just throws it in the trash can. I got my boy Michael right behind the camera. He just got a new rod from the tackle shop over there. Lastly, our robo worms. I just can't say enough good things about these. This part is gonna be a little tricky because of how slimy these plastics are. And voila. We didn't really have a budget with this build. I kind of wanted to just go with the best baits as possible. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful creation. Now, the final test, the shake test. Let's see how it held up. Is everything still in its compartment? Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> the spinner baits moved around a little bit. This swim bait, oh right, because I got the A-rig box, so. They kind of travel through <laughs> these holes. It's whatever. They're all gonna end up in a fish's mouth. The completed wintertime tackle box. So if any of y'all are in need of inspiration of what to throw this time of year, I'll have a link down in the description if you wanna go ahead and shop on ACM Tackle. You can use my code for 10% off. But as for now, it's time to test out this box and see if it's actually successful. If you wanna watch the fishing portion of this video, check it out on my channel. And until then, fish for the adventure. Wait a second, looking at this bait that Matt Aray recommended to me, no way, this man, he handed me his own bait. <laughs>